I really like this problem. It uses very elementary notion from geometry and area, but you have to really think about it. Okay, so let me tell you what the problem says. It says that ABC is any triangle. We have a triangle ABC like this. And we have two lines BD and CE like this, which intersect at the point F. It's also given that the area of this triangle is X. This triangle BFC is Y and CFD is Z. And the area of the quadrilateral AEFD is W. So all of these areas are given. Okay. Our goal is actually twofold. The first one is to show Y squared is greater than XZ. Y squared is greater than XZ. And the second goal is to express W in terms of X, Y, and Z. Okay, so let's get started. So to show Y squared is greater than X, Z, there are many ways of doing this, but I will just use one. From the point B, let's draw perpendiculars like this. So this is suppose H1. And from point C, I can also draw a perpendicular. Suppose this is H2, the two heights. Then what is X? The area of this triangle. Well, it is half of H1 times EF. Similarly, Z, that is the area of this triangle, is half of H2 times FD. Right? And finally, I will express Y in two different ways, the area of this triangle. So, Y is equal to half of H1 times CF. H1 is the height, CF is the base, so we have the area half H1 times CF, but it is also equal to half H2 times BF. Again, the same logic holds. BF is the base, this is the H2 is the height, so that's the area of this particular triangle. So, what is Y squared? Y square is 1 by 4 times H1 times H2 times CF times BF. And what is XZ? Well, again, it's 1 by 4 times H1 times H2 times EF times FD. And I want to show that Y squared is greater than XZ or the right hand side. This is the inequality. Of course, we can cancel off the stuff that is same. That is 1 fourth H1 times H2. So all that I have to show is that CF times BF is equal to EF times FD. Now let us see what this quantity actually means geometrically. If I come back to this picture... If this angle is theta, then the area of BFC, triangle BFC, the area of it is half BF times CF times sine theta. BF times CF times sine theta. That's the area of triangle BFC. And this angle is also theta because it's vertically opposite. I'll just join ED. So the area of triangle EFD, this triangle, this little triangle, is half of EF 
times FD times sin theta. F times FD times sin theta. So if I have to show CF times BF is greater than EF times FD, all I am trying to show, geometrically speaking, that BFC's area is greater than EFD. Right? Triangle BFC's area is greater than triangle EFD. I mean, you can just check. You can multiply half sine theta to both sides. This one becomes the area of triangle BFC. This one becomes the area of triangle EFD. I want to show that these two, this is the right hand side is greater than the left hand side. That's what I, my claim is that, right? It's actually strictly greater. So how do I go about it? How do I show that area of triangle BFC is greater than area of triangle EFT? Well, it's actually quite simple. Instead of showing that, I will add Z to both of them. So EFD plus Z, you get triangle EDC. And BFC plus Z, you will get triangle BDC. So I will show that BDC is greater than EDC. So automatically, this little triangle EFD will be greater than, uh, smaller than BFC. Now, how do I show it? Well, they have the same base, DC. BDC and EDC have the same base DC. I just need to show that the perpendiculars make all the difference. So from the point E, drop a perpendicular. And from the point B, drop a perpendicular. Suppose this is EM, this is N, BN. So why is BN greater than EM? After all, area of triangle BDC is half BN times DC. And area of triangle EDC is a half EM times DC. Uh, sorry, EM, EF times DC, right? EM times DC. So, both of them have BC. So, if I can show that BN is greater than EM, I am done. How do I show that? Well, this is very simple. This is a similar triangle. This triangle and this triangle are similar because these are parallel because they're, these two lines are perpendicular to the same line. So, they are parallel. Of course, AE by AB is equal to ED by BN. AE by AB is equal to EM by BN. Since AE is smaller than AB, therefore EM must be smaller than BN. Right? So that's pretty simple. So triangle BDC is e greater than in area to triangle EDC. This one is smaller than BDC. So if you remove Z, we have EFD is smaller than BFC. And then we have this conclusion that CF times BF is greater than EF times FD. Which basically tells us the expression that we need. Y squared is greater than XZ. So we just showed that CF times BF greater than EF times FD is equivalent to saying Y squared is greater than XZ. So we are done, right? So this is the first part. The first part is quite simple actually. The second part is actually also simple. So this is part B. Let's do the part B. You have this triangle ABC and you have BD CE 
CE. And I will now draw this line. So this is F suppose. This is F. Now we know that this is Y. This is X. This is Z. And I'll call this one W1 and this one W2. So W1 plus W2 equals W. And this is what we want to find. Using X, Y, Z. That's our goal. That's what we want to find out. Okay, so the first thing you have to realize is that we can use the ratio of areas is equal to the ratio of basis, this particular theorem. Ratio of areas of triangles is equal to the ratio of basis. So, how do we go about it? Well, we know that tri area of triangle area of triangle ABD by area of triangle CBD that is the ratio of these two areas is equal to AD over CD AD over CD but it's also equal to W2 over Z W2 over Z right because W2 by Z is also equal to AD over CD same vertex the ratio of area of triangles is equal to the ratio of basis now we can use subtrahendo to say that this is equal to ABD minus W2 by CBD minus Z. So what is ABD minus W2? ABD minus W2 is X plus W1. So this is X plus W1 divided by CBD minus Z is simply Y. So that gives us the first equation that we need. That is W2 by Z equals X plus W1 by Y. And we can use, I mean, we can rewrite the reverse setting that we wanted. I mean, we can rewrite this thing. ABD is simply X plus W divided by CBD is Y plus Z. X plus W divided by Y plus Z. Right? Okay. Now, we can do the same thing on this side these two triangles. So this AEC and BEC, we can do the same thing. So what do I get? I get W1 by X. So this is the other thing that I get. W1 by X is equal to W2 plus Z divided by Y is equal to W 1 plus W2, that is W plus Z, divided by X, Y plus X. That's it. So we have this other equation, so to say. Okay. So this is W plus Z divided by Y plus X y plus x all right so now what i can do is i can use these two equations to calculate w so what is w2 w2 is x plus w times z 
divided by y plus z and w1 is x times w plus z divided by y plus x. So I'll just add both of them up. If I add up, I get w1 plus w2 equals to xz plus wz divided by y plus z plus xw plus xz divided by y plus x. But what is this? This is just w, right? So w is equal to y plus z times y plus x. So xz plus wz times y plus x plus xw plus xz times y plus z. So you can see what I'm going to do. I can easily isolate w from this equation. I can easily isolate w from this equation. So let's, because it's just, both side has a w, so I can do that. So let's do that. So w times y square plus xy plus yz plus zx is equal to xyz plus x square z plus wyz plus w xz plus w x y x y plus w x z plus x y z plus x z square okay so that's what we what we have now I can take all the terms containing W to the left hand side. So if I do that, I get W times Y square plus XY plus YZ plus ZX minus YZ minus XZ minus XY minus XZ. This is equal to 2XYZ. So I have these two terms x square z, x z square. x square z plus x z square. So I cancel out y z, y z. I cancel out x y, x y. I cancel out z x, z x. So w is equal to 2 x y z plus x square z plus x z square divided by y square minus Exit. That's the final expression that we have. I'm not sure if the final expression is right. There can be some calculation mistake from my end. So I really um, would uh, appreciate if some of you confirm that you got the same expression or not in the comment section. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining this video. I will see you in the next one.